Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a Bantu knot out on my natural hair. As you all can see, I am starting off with blown out hair and it was time for me to get a little bit of a trim. So I went ahead and done that before I hopped on camera to show you all this. As you all can see, I am going ahead and sectioning my hair into sections because at this point, I think we all should know that whenever doing natural hair, sections always work better. For this hairstyle, I am going to be using my Texture ID products, which is the Twist Butter, Daily Moisturizing Cream, and Moti Styling Foam. I did use these products in the past wherein I did a flat twist hairstyle on myself. I find that Texture ID products keeps the hair straight, even though they have water in the ingredients, and it keeps the hair from reverting fully, which is why I really like to use them when I'm working on stretched hair. With these products, I do have to work them into my hair cuticle and also also my hair strands which is why you will see me doing a lot of motioning with my hair because I want to make sure that every strand is coated and that every strand is moisturized. I have noticed that when my hair is in a stretched out state it does take a little bit more for me to get the moisture in which is why I like to go back through with a rat tail comb or even a brush just to make sure that my hair is fully moisturized. And I like to add the styling foam last because to me it kind of like really seals the deal and helps the hair sit. Now for this Bantu knot, all I am doing is just rolling the hair. I personally am not like a huge fan of doing like two strand twists before doing the Bantu knot. That's just, just I don't know, it's, I guess it's my preference. But I am making sure that I roll the hair even as I am wrapping it into a circle to form the knot. I am continuously rolling my hair just to make sure that the entire length of my hair gets some form of curl. And because my ends are blunt right now, especially after the trim, I am going to secure it with a rubber band. So first I go in with my moisturizing cream and I make sure that I work, work, work the product in until I feel that my hair is trying to accept the moisture. And now laying the twist butter right on top, I'm going to make sure I work that through as well. And now the fun part is adding the foam. I did have to make sure that I was being very careful, careful not to use too much foam on each piece because I was actually running low. I was like, hmm, I must really like this product. So I will definitely be buying the multi styling foam again because I actually really, really love it and use it a lot because it's gone. So of course you want to roll the hair, which is basically repeating the process that you did on the other side twirl it around so that you form a circle now a trick to this is that you do not want to twist as tightly to the roots or roll as tightly to the roots because as you form the knot it gets tighter and if you're going to be sleeping with these overnight like i did you do not want them to be tight because it can be very very uncomfortable so again do not roll too tight to the roots just roll down the length of the hair and then once you get to the ends, you definitely want to make sure that your ends are moisturized because they are the oldest parts of our hair. And then you want to begin wrapping it in a circle and the circle is going to make the knot tighter. But as you roll, you do want to make sure that you continue rolling your hair as you're forming the circle just to make sure that you get as much curl definition as possible. And secure with your rubber bands. So this is what the back section of my hair looks like and of course I'm going to repeat this process in the front of my head. Now this step is optional but I am going in and adding some oil to my scalp just to make sure that it is moisturized because I have been having dry scalp lately and it's because I kind of skipped one of my wash days because I was being lazy and tie your hair up before laying down to go to sleep. 
So when I woke up the next morning, I went ahead and set up under the dryer for about 30 minutes and read a book. Now I did this because I sweat normally under the dryer, so I like to do it before I hop in the shower. So here we are out of the shower. The Bansu knots have set. They have been up under the dryer and it is time for the takedown process. Now for me, the worst part is really getting the rubber bands off, but when you get into a hang of it, it gets easier. So I really just unroll the Bantu knot and assess the curl. And if I see that I like it, I just go ahead and move to the next one. And after we unravel all of our Bantu knots, we are going to hop into the separation process. I absolutely love the bounce and the springiness that um, Bantu knots really, really give stretch hair. And yes, it's just one of my favorite styles overall that I haven't been able to do in a very, very long time. Now, separating is a little bit easier than doing twist outs or braid outs. You literally just want to stretch the hair, see where the hair naturally wants to separate, give it a little coil at the end, and you have a curl. And as you all can see that the separation process here is not difficult at all. It is really, really easy because men that I have larger sections, the hair is going to naturally want to separate anyway. You just want to make sure that you're being gentle and doing your best to not cause any additional frizz. In the front of my hair, I am separating and coiling the curls going towards my face because I did want somewhat of a bang or just a little hair in my face. So that is why I am separating and recoiling in that direction. And here are the final results that I have. As you all can see, I really don't even need to pick my hair. I don't really need to do anything but just fluff with my fingers. I am so, so in love with the results. I really, really hope you all enjoyed the video and found it useful. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. See ya.